started off as a foilist but then was convinced to switch to Epe saying that she would stay in Hong Kong uh, fencing foil but be able to travel the world fencing Epe and she's done just that so time now for the gold medal match between she on the right of your screens from Hong Kong and Kowalczyk from Italy as you can see there's quite a big difference in reach and height but both of these fences like to press Kowalczyk likes also to press forward and she will have watched the uh, first semi-final that was between uh, Kowalczyk and Terayama of Japan Terayama being pushed right the way back to the end of her the end of the piece on her end by Kowalczyk and she Kaylin not allowing that to happen well another cagey start as is the way in Epe and if you're new to fencing if you're new to Epe then the whole body is the target to point weapon and if no one scores a hit within the first minute then a passivity yellow card which is separate from other yellow cards for other infringements that's why it's got that P on it and if they do that again for another minute then it'll be a P red and the, your opponent will be given a point now if the if scores are tied then you both uh, lose a point or ship a point to your opponent but if one fencer is now is trailing then it's the trailing fencer that gives away a point to their opponent so now that they're on PE yellows it does make a difference to passivity later on in the match getting the first hit there and taking a 1-0 lead well, Italy very strong in women's epe fencing they've got Alberta Santuccio uh, who made it through did she make I think she got a silver medal in um, the world championships yeah, she did indeed Santucci got silver there in the uh, women's epi they got uh, Mara Navaria uh, Rosella Fiamingo who won a silver medal back in Rio so a strong team to try and work your way onto Uh, Kovacic trying to go for the foot there and had been lured into that attack and she able to basically pick her off so it's 30 seconds left in this first period And neither fencer wants to give away a point just before the break. And we go to the break at 2 1. Well, very early days. definitely information that will have been gained for from the fences themselves but also from the coaches that are then imparting the advice and <coughs> suggesting certain attacking moves and you can see the Italian coach there just showing those circular motions those 
Circular cease disengage or fake to disengage and then contact continue on with the attack. So the first period very much about learning what your opponent will do if you show them something. And then you can go to show them what you were going to do and then not do it and then disengage and then come through and, 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 and attack. So it's about looking for avenues, looking for openings, looking for possible ways of, of finding an opening without leaving yourself exposed. So 2-1 the score, and we're into the second period. Ooh, nothing happened there. It's funny, that it was just a stray, I think, well, normally it would be a, a stray white light that came on, but they both colored lights came on, but they were miles apart, and maybe the, the tips of the Epes hit. So she uh, against Nixon using the, the beat of the blade quite aggressively at one stage in that semi final match. Oh, referee had called halt. And uh, she doing into that windscreen wiper attack of just trying to beat, beat, beat the blade as much as she possibly could. And Kowalczyk, fortunate, the referee called hold at that stage. But she said, right, well, OK, you're back in the end of your piece. I'm going to attack you fast. And the doctor is being called. So we've got an injury. We don't have the injury clock running as yet. But it's just a hit to the back of the of uh, of the fencing hand that when uh, she came in and was furiously beating at the blade, might have just beaten the back of the hand of Sarah Maria Kowalczyk. The Italian still leads. But she will have gained some confidence there that she can push the, her opponent back and then almost uh, intimidate her with these beats and flurry of, of attack. No! Nice from she was able to take the blade on the attack and then hit right down low on the leg of Kowalczyk. Well, the Italians are asking if, if it was a hit to the floor. And they're looking at the video review. Maybe we'll get a video replay. Here we go. Was it on the foot? I can see. Different video for the referees. It's much wider. It uh, doesn't cut in so tight. Uh, it sits pretty much level with the middle of the piece as well. So it's not off to an angle.
Yeah, the point was good. The point stands. It's three apiece. So we approach the... There's some discussion about the score here. Is it four apiece or three apiece? So is it four, three or... No, it's not 4 3, it's 3 apiece. Okay. It is 3 apiece. I thought I was going mad for a second there. Uh, at least someone knows what's going on. The, the fencers clearly knew what the score was. Uh, referees getting maybe a little bit confused, or the scorer. So confusion over, uh, and as I was saying, we are at the halfway point now of the second period, and we're tied at three apiece. So when you see the scores level in Epe, it's often then the time for a little bit of uh, defensive passivity you don't want to give the lead away work so hard to get back and she is now in the lead for the first time in this match looking for that flick hit over the top of the guard or, or faking that you're going to try that flick hit over the top of the guard and then waiting to try and see what the response will be. A lot of second intention in Epe, trying to make your opponent do something that uh, they don't want to do. That beat there from Shu, really strong. Absolutely smacking a couple of times the opponent's blade out of the way and then Kowalczyk was expecting it for a third time and she just went boom lunge attack and hit and 5-3 the score So 10 seconds left on the clock, and I think that Kowalczyk will want to step away and offer the break, which she does. So 5-3. But of the two fences, it looks to me like she has more, more tricks in the bag, has a better control of of the fight you can see how uh, the score flipped around 2-1 at the first break now 5-3 and body language is not looking good for Kowalczyk he's not even looking at our coach Whereas in, on the other end of the piece, a big, confident high five. Well, Forza. Let's go. Does not look confident, though. Got to try and find a way to get through the defense of Xi. Strong beat again, missed it that time.
big beats from she and it worked well got double scored but she hit into the chest of uh, the italian the italian hitting the hong kong fencer on the leg but the moral victory in that point was very much she's because this uh, the beat defense is working so well for her and again well that time it was a lovely circular disengage from she Kowalczyk's devoid of, of ideas, needs to come find some kind of inspiration here. <laughs> Double. It's been a while since Kowalczyk scored a single light. So Kowalczyk presses. She defends. She using this beat and then sometimes not beating disengaging the blade <laughs> and it's one-way traffic now it could try and oh again a whack on the back of the hand that we've already we've already had the uh, the doctor out for again she's just walking into distance with with no intention of trying to finish and if she does finish then it's a double be better to try and lure that uh, that counter-attack from from sheet no! anticipate it and get back out of the way well there's a reason why she did so well at the world championships the fence from Hong Kong 16th place in Milan and I think she was beaten uh, by uh, was it the eventual winner no no she lost to her teammate she lost to um, uh, Kong <laughs> Vivian Kong Well, we're just ticking the clock down now, aren't we? Kowalczyk has run out of ideas. And you saw it with the body language at the break. She wasn't looking at her coach. Coach was, like, trying to tell her what to do, but then when she stepped out onto the piece for this third period, looks like, looked like she conceded the match already. I mean, but hats off to she. She is a brilliant fencer and one to watch in the future. And having Vivian Manwai Kong as her teammate is going to help a lot. And look at that. What a flourish. Lovely, lovely flourish to end there. And a different class. She, Kaylin Sinyang of.
Hong Kong, China takes the gold. Confirmation that she is in a different class. a swift exit stage left but the score sits at 15 10 and